For the officials who were in charge during the bombings and the ensuing manhunt, some of their most enduring memories are of the people they met. Deval Patrick was governor back in 2013, and he shared with WBZ's Kate Merrill a story of one survivor he got to know. I remember going um, to visit the hospitals. So I thought, well, maybe I'll go around and, and visit those who are, who are able to take a visit um, just to comfort them. Mm -hmm. And um, in each of the hospitals, I, the first I went to was MGH, the hospital leadership convened um, before I toured uh, some, of the, uh, uh, some of the patients. And they were exhausted, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but one of them said, you know, um, you realize that everybody, that many of the injuries were injuries that would cost life in a lot of other settings, but that everybody got to the right hospital for the right level of acuity in time. I think the first surgery was like nine minutes after the first bomb uh, went off. Um, and I said, well, first of all, I, we were lucky in this sense because it happened at a place where lots of ambulances normally were aggregated mm -hmm. near, the, near the finish line. And uh, I remember um, one of the leaders at MGH saying, uh, actually it was more than that. And I said, well, what else? He said, well, we just practiced your plan. And I said, I'm sorry. He said, there was a plan for a major disaster. Um, what kinds of injuries would go to which of the hospitals? Of course, we have extraordinary health care services here. Right. It's another blessing. Um, but they had practiced that, and they executed that, uh, uh, that plan. It was my plan. It was the team's plan. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there were ways in which we were, we were more ready, I think, than, uh, than I even uh, appreciated. And I, I'll tell you one story. There was a, a woman I went to visit. She was between some number of surgeries on her leg. Um, they were trying to save a leg that she ultimately lost. And um, she reminded me, you know, it's a, I always say Boston is a village masquerading as a city. Um, she reminded me that she had waited on my family and me at a restaurant in Back Bay some time uh, before. And I rem remembered when she reminded me because she was just as sassy and funny and we had a wonderful, uh, a wonderful time. And she introduced me to her boyfriend who was there. Um, and we talked about how she was feeling. She said, I really appreciate your coming, coming by. And I said, we'll stay in touch. And when the president was here, I was taking him around to, um, uh, to visit some of the, the patients. And you know, it's the president of the United States. He's not interested in me. So I stepped back and, uh, uh, and he was uh, saying hello to people. And apparently, he said to her and her family who were there, um, is there anything I can, I can ever do for you? And, and she apparently said, I've always wanted to go to a Cubs game or a White Sox game. If you can get me tickets, I wish you would. So that's the last I hear that's of it. Hilarious. So the end of the summer comes, and I'm invited by the then governor of Illinois to come out to Chicago because they have renamed the street that I grew up on after me. And there was a beautiful um, ceremony out, uh, out there. All these kids from the local school uh, had come out. And I'm standing in front of um, you know, the tenement I grew up, grew up in talking with a couple of the uh, folks who were there. And who comes rolling up in a wheelchair? But this woman. I had met at the hospital, and I said, what on, in the world are you doing here? And she said, well, the president came through. He got us these ball tickets. Um, so we were here, and we opened the paper to see what was happening, and we saw this occasion was happening. We thought we'd come down. And, and she said something really, I mean, first of all, I was blown away she was there. She said, you were there for me. I thought I should show up for you. We, we have. Um, we have a sense of community here that we don't often acknowledge, we don't often call it up, um, and we, we don't often um, appreciate that, that that sense of community goes, it includes neighborhood, but it goes beyond neighborhood, it goes beyond ethnicity and race um, and, uh, and class and all that, uh, all that stuff. There is a sense of connection 
that is our power, I think. It is our superpower. And it is true of this town, it's true of this region, it's true of this commonwealth. I feel so proud that everybody brought their best. People who had official roles and regular citizens, they brought their best. Um, and, um, you know, it's worth, worth remembering we have that capacity.